Welcome to the Lindsay and Tony podcast, where we talk about spirituality, business, and life experiences. In this podcast, we're bringing our private conversations to you. We believe that it's through discussion, action, and reflection that true change occurs. Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode 118, How to Tune into Your Intuition During Times of Chaos. In this episode, we talk about when everything is going crazy around you, how to slow down your life, take a couple of steps back, and tune into your powerful intuition that's always guiding you. I hope everybody enjoys the show. Hi guys, welcome back. We're so excited that you're here. Today's episode is all about how to tune into your intuition in times of chaos. So let's start with the definition of intuition because a lot of times this can be confused because we have a name on something that has so much depth to it. So here's the definition of it. The ability to understand something immediately without the need for conscious reasoning. So I want you to imagine something right now. I want you to imagine a little antenna coming from the center of your head right here. Just as coming out, it's your antenna. That's your intuition. So that's the thing to where you're receiving signals from the ether, from the intangible realms, and you're knowing information immediately. Us doing the work that we do, um, Lindsay's a psychic medium, I look at it like her intuition, that antenna, is helping you tap into Mm -hmm. the other side. If you're an empath, that antenna is helping you tune into other people's emotional energies. So intuition is a broad range of things that it could do for you. That's true. That's a good point to bring up because I think people get confused on, you know, I don't know if I can tune into my intuition. I don't know if I have that ability. We all have the ability. It's just figuring out which which way you are tuning into it. So for me, naturally, I get things intuitively through my clairvoyant vision. So I'll see it in my mind's eye. So it almost, if you can imagine, I'm sitting here right now on this stool, um, if you're watching us on video, If you're listening to us, just imagine me sitting on a stool. I'm sitting here, but I'm thinking about what I was doing yesterday. And yesterday, I was actually standing behind behind here giving a Messages from Heaven event online. So me thinking about yesterday and having that image in my head is very clear. It's like I can daydream about yesterday. This is how intuitive visions can come forward. Um, There's other ways that I receive intuitive nudges. But that's just one way. And then Tony, you're definitely a feeler. You are so connected clairsentiently. And I've actually been developing the clairsentience. So I've been feeling a lot lately, but I feel like it happened when I met you. What other ways do you get info? Right, so it's like exactly what you just said, feeling. I feel deeply. How many of you can relate to that, to to where you feel everything? And sometimes I'm not even trying to, right? Mm And my intuition, I'm just receiving all of this information. I'm not even trying to. And those times is when I'm leaving my little antenna. I'm leaving it (laughs) open to where it's receiving all of these things. So going back to like the, the topic of this episode is how to tune into your intuition during times of chaos. So I want you to imagine the antenna on the top of your house that we used to have for receiving cable. Imagine a storm's going by and everything's going crazy, what would happen to your cable? Well, it would shut off and you would no longer receive the channel that your antenna was trying to get for you. And then you'd be frustrated. So I want you to imagine that, that's how your life is. If you're constantly stressed out, if you're constantly speaking of drama, if you're constantly um, around other people and you're not giving yourself that alone time to allow the storms to pass, So that way your antenna can pick up the image, can pick up the feeling, can pick up whatever you need to pick up. Because as you know, you're watching this episode and you understand that your intuition, our intuition is probably the greatest gift that we were born with because it gives us the ability to see into the intangible realms. And if you're like us, we realize that it's the intangible realms 
that actually has all of the wisdom, that has all of the gold and all of the guidance. Exactly. And I think the physical body that we have, we can actually use it to help us too. Because when we feel things, you could feel it in your solar plexus, so your stomach area. You could have butterflies in your stomach, a good butterfly feeling for excitement, like something's gonna come up and I'm so excited about it. And then there's other ways that you can tap into your intuition where you're like, something doesn't feel right. I feel that feeling of, I describe it like a homesick feeling. It's like a weird, it's a different mm -hmm. kind of feeling. Now, one thing, one misconception that can come when it comes to intuition is, well, what if I get so good with my intuition where I'm constantly receiving bad premonitions or bad information? It's just like anything else. It's really important for you to focus on the broad perception of things, of knowing you're going to see amazing things if that's what you're tapping into, if that's where your focus is, that's where your radio station and your channel is focused in on. You're not going to be receiving bad information all the time, but you have to know that you can receive both things. And in times of chaos, one of the things that people do is it's natural for us humans to go to everyone else to try to figure out the answers, to look to the media, to ask um, other people what they think, which is okay to do that, definitely. Like, I'm a psychic, so I get people calling for readings. But before you go into that realm of getting confused and running into the chaos, into the storm like Tony was mentioning, take a step back and really take that time to think, like, what do I feel before I get out of my bed in the morning? What's something that I'm feeling in this moment? And sometimes it's just setting that intention of figuring out, you know what, I'm open to receive whatever I need right now, and I'm gonna allow it to come to me. And then let it go. Don't be sitting trying to get it in the moment, because it's not gonna work that way. Right, because the thing is, that's a great point, because, and another thing is when, when you get an intuitive nudge and you try to hold on to it, you'll often turn that into a fear because you start to overthink it. Intuition is like water to where you look at a river, the water just keeps flowing. Intuition, it comes in and then it leaves. Mm -hmm. It comes in and then it leaves. So I think the better question is to ask yourself is, in this moment, am I still? In this moment, Am I centered in this moment? Am I reactive or am I responding? Because I feel like when your mind is not still and you're in the reactive mode, yeah, you might be getting some intuitive nudges, but it's like you're going all over the place. So going back to an antenna on the top of your house that's getting the cable during the storm, well, you could sit there and you could overthink it and be like, well, maybe it's going to come on now. And um, I don't understand why it's not coming on. You could get frustrated and you could, you could just be part of the storm and you could get so frustrated with everything that's going on. Or you could just go in the other room, take a couple of deep breaths, center yourself, relax, because that's the best way that we could tap into our intuition clearly. And then you'll realize that, wait, once this storm passes, the cable will be back on again. So in your life, you gotta ask, do, you know, so with the intent on top of your house, that storm is going to keep on coming by until it passes, right? There's really nothing, not much you can do in that situation. But in life, we have a choice to where if we're at a place and there's all kinds of chaos going on, or if there's a lot of chaos going on in our life, um, we don't have to sit there and get frustrated and overthink. We could choose to, and that's what we're trying to um, influence all of you um, watching this to do is choose to just take a couple steps back, slow it down, and maybe do something like Lindsay and I do. We go for a walk or, you know, other things I do. I go on bike rides or rollerblading. And, um, you know, I start to move my body and I go out in nature because, once again, it brings me back to where my mind is still and then everything starts to become clear again compared to when I was in the storm and I was asking other people, you know, what they thought and I was just overthinking it and all these things. I didn't have the space to allow my mind to have all of those connections and to have my mind be still to where my antenna was fresh and I could pick up clearly, whether it was positive or negative. Because like you were saying, Lindsay, a lot of people will get scared because they think that, oh, I'm only going to get negative mm -hmm. things that's going to happen. And I understand why, because you watch movies 
And that's what intuition is always portrayed as. It's always portrayed as something that might be scary. And I wanna influence everybody here to realize that when your mind is still, yeah, you might get an intuitive nudge of something you know, that it's warning you like, hey, if you keep doing this, this scary thing will happen. That's not a bad thing there because it's your intuition warning you. But also realize that it's like what Lindsay said to where wherever you focus, that's where you're going to go. Wherever you focus your energy, that's where you're going to tap into your intuition mm-hmm. more so. And as you're talking, it's making me think of a story that happened to me. And it and it's funny because a lot of the times what we think is chaos and we think it's an intuitive nudge for something bad happening is actually just anxiety. So, of course, I'm not a doctor, so I have to say that. But I remember when I left for Australia and Australia... I was excited about Australia, but before I left for Australia, there was a lot of stuff going on in my life at that point. And I had a panic attack before I left, even like weeks before. It could have been, I don't know how many weeks before. And then I was being told by my mom, you know, just wait till you graduate college and go visit. You don't need to do this now. Like up until the day before I left Australia (laughs) for Australia. So when I got to the airport, I thought that I was like getting sick because I was feeling like everything was closing in on me. I even like physically, like I got sick. So that was in the airport. In that moment, I could have thought that was an intuitive nudge that that was a problem. Do you know what I mean? Like that that was something that like, oh gosh, this is saying not to get on the Mm -hmm. plane. Which that happens a lot. We hear a lot of people say that, or you know, my experience. I've heard right. a lot of people say things exactly. Like that. But this wasn't that. This mm-hmm. was full on anxiety, panic attack that was taking place. Mm-hmm. So the reason I'm saying this is normally during a time of chaos. What I've, I'm going back to these moments in my life that have been in complete chaos, like down to this is extreme, but Nick passing away and me talking on on the phone with the state trooper. In that moment, I could have gone like everything going in fast mode, but in that moment, everything slowed down Mm -hmm. and my life flashed before my eyes and these things that didn't get to happen. It flashed before my eyes, but it was in slow motion. Another thing happened to me where I was in complete, like it was chaos where I had to make a decision. And in that mode, everything slowed down and I had this weird peace in that moment. Mm -hmm. So when we're in chaos, something comes out of us as the soul that we are and somehow we get through it. I I don't know how, but it happens. But when we're in a moment of anxiety, things feel out of control. And they feel speedy. They feel really fast. Real rushed. Does that make sense? It makes so much sense. So it's just, it's coming to me in the moment and I'm just thinking about that to to clear that up for you, you know, and see with your own um, situations. But the big thing with intuitive information is it's going to come in different forms. For you, it could come in feeling, which is clairsentient. For someone else, it could be clairvoyant visions, which is the... Um, seeing another person it could come clear audiently where you hear like a thought coming like why is that word coming up for me in this moment and it could be a positive thing you could wake up with a song and you're like oh today's gonna be a good day because I'm getting this message but think about ways that it could come in and what it's come in for you and reflect on past experiences one more thing I want to say about this is the best way to know if your intuition is working is to first like write it down and, re- and reflect later. So it won't make sense in the moment at all. It won't make sense. Then it could be the later that day, later that week or later that year that it could refl- that you could go back and think, oh, right, that you go was back right. and look at your read your journal and yeah. you're like, wow, that was but you have to didn't make sense patterns. then, but it makes sense now. You have to look at patterns too. Mm-hmm. If you have a pattern of feeling anxious before you get someplace if you're flying across the world then that shows that most likely you're not getting an intuitive nudge that's like a bad premonition it's probably your anxiety right as you were saying all of that i had an insight come over me to where it's like for them it's Mm -hmm. their radar and i'm you know i use i use it as my radar too but it just became more clear as you said it was if you feel like things are going fast and it's like, whoa, you know, when chaos is going on, it's like 
you're going and then you're going to pick up the kids and then you're going to work and then you're going to cook and then you're it's like slow it down because that's exactly what you said you said when your intuition or when you when you became into the present moment when all of those things happen for you things just slowed down and that was for me personally i don't know how other people well, experience it well and here's how it is you know right with something like that but what i'm saying here is is slow it down because when you slow things down so that's a radar so are things going are things speeding right now or are things feeling really slow right now when it's anxiety like you were saying things are going to be like speeding and boom boom and it's going to be that's a sign so you need to tune into your body in those moments and be like all right things are too hyper it's too fast paced the question is what can i do to slow down my life right now mm -hmm. is it instead of going to buy food that's already made maybe we make our food at home instead of um maybe you have a project at home to where you could just go buy the item that you need and boom it's done or you can make the item out handmade out of wood mm -hmm. whatever it is for you what can you do to slow down your life because here's the thing chaos is always going to be going on somewhere in the world whether it's in your life in your body or somewhere across the world there's going to be chaos and a lot of you are like us that watch this and listen to this episode where your impasse you can feel all of this you can tune into it so this could cause it to cause your life to have anxiety and your life to speed up so always ask yourself the question am i feeling too speedy right now do i feel like i'm on a highway going 100 or do i feel like i'm relaxed driving through the pretty mountains at a you know 30 miles per hour just taking in everything and you know looking at the trees and all of that and taking it all in and I think that's a good space to, to start. I like that. I like that um, metaphor because I feel like that, that makes a big difference to think about it like that. And also, when you are slowing down, most likely you're going to see ahead where all of a sudden it's going to shock you. Like, whoa, this is really chaotic what's going on in the world right now. But wait, I see some light at the end of the mm -hmm. tunnel and all of a sudden I'm seeing a month when it's going to end or I'm hearing the month name or I know the season where it's going to shift. So I found like with everything going on with the pandemic, along the way, there's been so much stuff out there. There's psychics putting out fear too. Like I've mm -hmm. seen that. And I'm not someone that's going to advertise and say like, this is what I'm getting about what's going to happen. Unless someone comes and they're talking to me or having a conversation. But one thing that I recognize with it is, first of all, there's nothing to fear because things are going to shift. Like that's one thing. But if you really tune into your soul, you'll know exactly what's going on. And I think everyone has to do that. Because no matter what we listen to, if I, if I say something or someone else says something and you are not confident in what's going on, you are going to take and snatch any bit of information, fear or positivity and take it on as your own is what it is. But you have to really tune in to your own intuition and get that result through feeling, seeing, whatever it is. But most of the time when you're in chaos, all you have to do is eliminate the things in your life and pull back. And then that's when you feel your intuition really coming through. So if you're running around seeing 50 million people, like we're, we're on a road trip. So we're seeing family and then we're doing our work. But we have a balance right now where when we know, okay, we need some space to actually like, you know, compartmentalize, like we're just gonna take a break and we're gonna rest, we're gonna sit at a coffee shop Slow together. Slow it down, read a book. You actually feel like you're back in your body because mm -hmm. it's very easy to get wrapped up in the chaos. But I think the biggest thing is eliminate all the outside stuff and come back inward. It's the simplest way to do it when you can tune into your intuition. We hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we did. If you liked it, leave a five-star review on iTunes. And remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel too. If you can think of anyone else that would love this episode, share it with them right now on social media or email. And remember, getting results is a process of learning, applying, and reflecting. Stay consistent and continue to grow every day.